I guess it was inevitable. Elon Musk has allowed Donald Trump back on to Twitter. He says, the people have spoken. Trump will be reinstated. And when he says the people have spoken, what he means specifically is that he ran a stupid poll on Twitter and then I guess more people voted for it as if he wasn't going to do it anyway. Elon Musk has never run a poll on Twitter except to justify the thing he'd already decided to do. First of all, the poll was 51.8 to 48.2. So if the people spoke, it was that they're at best very uh, uh, conflicted on this. In any event, as we're going to get to, he said there were going to be no no big changes until their moderation committee has put forward. So there's been no indication that that has actually happened. And if that did happen, it seems weird that he would not cite their advice in deciding to put the insurrectionist back on Twitter, instead saying that the poll was responsible. Anyway, AOC responded to it saying, I don't know, man, last time he was here, this platform was used to incite an insurrection. Multiple people died. The VP of the United States was nearly assassinated and hundreds were injured. But I guess that's not, not enough for you to answer the question. Twitter poll it is. Exactly. By the way, if you go to Trump's Twitter, those are the last tweets that are up. It's all the insurrection stuff. So that's fun. It's like we can just, we paused briefly on him being able to use Twitter to organize murderous uh, crowds. And now, if he chooses to, he can go right back to doing it again. Hey, what do you think? I think it's also kind of funny that Twitter polls notoriously can't be used for voter fraud in any kind of way possible. All the conservatives have no issue with this whatsoever. Elon Musk, who has previously talked about Twitter's bot problem, seems to be very confident in this poll that has been passed here that it hasn't been infiltrated by bots. In fact, early on, he said that it used to be a resounding yes. Then all of a sudden, a bunch of no's flooded in. Hmm, could that be bots? <laughs> so he's even kind Big of saying dumps. there as... He, he's even saying there, as he's implied in a lot of other ways, implicitly and explicitly, that... His opinion is ultimately what he wants to conflate as public opinion on Twitter. He wants it to yeah. be a cult of himself as much as possible and a cult of his own allies. And so whatever they say goes, and if you disagree with this cult or don't like it, he's going to run you off the platform by either making it miserable or if you work there, firing you. Yeah, 100%. He's already done a great job on that so far. Now, here's the thing. All of the Making headlines... Twitter more miserable, by the way. Great job. That's class yeah, Maybe ass. he is a genius. Um, okay, so all the headlines, and even the way I introduce this is, uh, Elon Musk let Trump back on Twitter. But let's be clear, that isn't, at the end of the day, really what's happening here. Elon Musk isn't allowing Trump on. Elon Musk desperately wants Trump back on the platform, for fairly easy to understand reasons. Because when he let Trump on, Trump thus far, as of right now, has not tweeted yet. If, if all you wanted was free speech, then that's fine. You would just let him be on, then you'd go on about your day. No, he wants him back on. He tweeted uh, later on this meme of Trump being tempted to come back on to Twitter or whatever. And just as a quick diversion, uh, there was a reply to that meme by Jordan Peterson, who he also let back on to Twitter saying, you really are pretty damn funny, Mr. Musk. And the only reason I bring that up is so I can show this reply to that from Ken Klippenstein, who just put this meme up. And see, that's pretty, you really are pretty damn funny, Mr. Klippenstein. Can I just say that? Because can you ride a guy more than some of these right-wingers do for Elon Musk? But anyway, as of right now, Trump still has not returned. Musk clearly wants him there because the whole, if there's any appeal to Twitter 2.0, it's as a haven for right-wing weirdos. And they need the head right-wing weirdo to make that come true. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.